Okay, in this lesson we're going to look at the nth term, the linear sequences. So let's have a look at a linear sequence. So here's a linear sequence, 5, 8, 11, 14, so on. Uh, you can tell it's a linear sequence because it's getting bigger by the same number each time. So you can see that if we add 3 each time, you get the sequence. So you start with 5 and you add 3. So the terms are, first term is 5, second term is 8, third term is 11, fourth term is 14, and so on. We're going to find the nth term for this sequence. The nth term is the rule for the sequence. So, to find the nth term, first of all you need to consider what it's getting bigger by each time. If it's getting smaller, um, we'll look at that in another example. So, uh, you can see it's getting bigger by 3 each time. Because it's getting bigger by 3 each time, you write the 3 times tables beneath the sequence. Because the 3 times tables get bigger by 3 each time as well. So, 3, 6, 9, 12. So, but because the sequence is getting bigger by 3 each time, we've written the 3 times tables beneath the sequence. The 3 times tables is 3n. In other words, 3 times the number. So 3 times 1 is 3. 3 times 2 is 6. 3 times 3 is 9. So if it was getting bigger by 3 each time, you write 3n. If your sequence was getting bigger by 7 each time, you would write 7n, and so on. Now, what you need to do is consider what you do to 3 to get to 5. What do you do to 6 to get to 8? What do you do to 9 to get to 11? What do you do to 12 to get to 14? You add 2 each time. So the nth term is 3n plus 2. In other words, it's saying it's the 3 times tables, but 2 bigger than it. And when you think about it, the 3 times tables, 3, 6, 9, 12, and 2 more than that would be 5, 8, 11, 14, and so on. So this is the nth term. Now, you might sort of think, well, what's, what's the point in the nth term? Why is it useful? Well, the nth term is really useful to work out terms in the sequence without having to carry on the sequence. So if we look at our original sequence, our original sequence was 5, 8, 11, 14. Imagine I wanted to know the hundredth number in this sequence, the hundredth term. Well, we've done four so far, where we could write the fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, and we could keep on adding three, so we could write 17, 20, 23, 26, 29, and so on, and keep doing that, and hopefully not make a mistake, and hopefully get the hundredth one right, or we could use this nth term, okay? Well, the n stands for the term you want, so if you wanted the first term in the sequence, well, the first term is five, let's just check. The first term, you do three times one, well, three times one is three, plus two is five. If I wanted the second number in the sequence, I'd do 3 times 2, which is 6, plus 2, which is 8. If I wanted the third number in the sequence, I'd do 3 times 3, which is 9, plus 2, 11. Well, we want the hundredth number in the sequence. We want the hundredth term. Well, if I wanted the hundredth term in the sequence, I would do 3 times 100, so I'd do 3 times 100, and then I add 2. 3 times 100 is 300, plus 2 equals 302. What's fantastic, that means that instead of carrying on the sequence the whole way up to the hundredth number, we can just work it out quickly using this nth term to find out it was 302. If I wanted the millionth number in the sequence, I'd do 3 times a million, 3 million, plus 2, 3 million and 2. Simple as that. Okay, we're going to look at another example now. Uh, this question says the nth term of a sequence is 4n take away 1. Write down the first five terms. So if you want to do that, well, you, there's two ways to do it. Well, you could look at the nth term and say, well, this is the 4 times tables take away 1. So the sequence is the 4 times tables, but 1 less. So instead of being 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, it's going to be take 1 away from those, 3, 7, 11, uh, 15, 19, and so on. Alternatively, this n stands for the numbers you want. You want the first 5 terms. So for the first term, you do 4 times 1, which is 4, take away 1, which is 3. If you want the second term in the sequence, 4 times 2 is 8, take away 1 is 7. Third number in the sequence, 4 times 3 is 12, take away 1 is 11. 4 times 4 is 16, take away 1 is 15. And finally, 4 times 5 is 20, take away 1 is 19. So the sequence, the first five terms would be 3, 7, 11, 15 and 17. Okay, we've been asked to work at the nth term for this sequence, and this sequence is one that's decreasing, like I mentioned earlier. So we've got 20, 15, 10, 5. 
So first thing to do in a question where it's um, any nth term question is to write out the sequence and to work out what it's getting bigger or smaller by. This sequence, you're subtracting 5 each time. You take away 5, take away 5, take away 5. So what you're going to do this time is write the minus 5 times tables beneath the sequence. So the minus 5 times tables, well, minus 5, minus 10, or the multiples of minus 5, which would be minus 5, minus 10, minus 15, minus 20. So, and because it's minus 5, um, it's getting bigger by each time, or you're minus 5, uh, you're going to write minus 5n. Now, to get from minus 5 to 20, you add 25. To get from minus 10 to 15, you add uh, 25. Add 25, add 25. So the nth term is minus 5n plus 25. And that's the nth term for the sequence.